check the marketplace for free stuff that people don't want. Because you can find some really good free pieces. Stay tuned to find out exactly what we're going to do with this. Greetings everyone, much love to you, thanks for tuning in to the Van Life Can YouTube channel. So this is everything we picked up from the Facebook marketplace for free this morning. It's going to be our new countertop. And it's not one of them, but two. So I think we're going to be able to do something pretty neat with that there. We also got these three pieces of what looks to be half inch not too big but I can definitely work with those and then this strip of the same thing which I can use for support there was this little pole with some hooks on the top it actually goes into a broom handle end it looks like but we'll make that work for what we need and then we got these as well which are about five feet long one by threes look to be the same thing that I made the bed frame out of as well as a pool noodle, which I'm probably going to be putting on this area just so that it's softer for when the baby's in here. And then there's this piece, which is a bit bigger than a 2x4, but it has these rails on the side. So I might be able to use these rails for something. We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, I'm going to take them off of the piece of wood so that I can use the wood as it is. So let's see what we can come up with to finish our passenger seat kitchen. The first thing I needed to do was cut this door panel. So I made sure nothing was behind it and then I took this terrible clip of me cutting it with a jigsaw. After that, I had to use my utility knife to cut the bottom line because the jigsaw couldn't quite handle this steep of an angle. So I just leveraged my body weight against it made a straight line and then followed that line the entire way down. perfect I have to cut just a tiny bit more off but that's nothing and now when we close the door it barely moves just because of the nub right there but as you can see it's not touching the rest of the way and that's exactly what we wanted no movement perfect then I measured six or seven times before you, you, you need to measure multiple times before you make an important cut. Okay, that's why I say six or seven because honestly, I had the piece on there. I don't know how many separate times. Take it off, put it back on, make sure everything lines up how you want it, and then make the cut. I mean, I didn't have very many chances with this. So I took the best looking part of the piece with the smoothest edges to be facing outward so that it has the best aesthetic that I could accomplish given that I'm using trash pieces of wood. I mean, you, you gotta do what you can to make it a way that you will enjoy, not something that you'll dislike and wanna change in five minutes, which I don't. I'm actually taking this voice clip a couple of days after I've done this, and I'm still very happy with what I achieved with this whole piece. But I say all that to say, I took my measurements and then I cut and everything fit exactly how it was supposed to. So after I cut this piece, I ended up cutting the strip in half to use as the support to
we have it. So I've got some pieces mounted up on the underside. As you can see, if, there, if one's not in place, neither is the other. And they'll slide right in place, and it doesn't teeter around. I also had to trim this edge just a bit to get it level, and so by doing that, I left myself a notch so that it will sit right in place each time. Got a little bit of chipping there, but I'll color that with a brown crayon and it'll be just fine. So now we're gonna get into building some type of unit back here. This is my portable toilet. It's, it's almost perfectly flush with the sub, so I'm basically gonna put a layer on top of that, flat right here, and then as well as a back panel right here up the whole thing and then this will all be usable space as well now I want to leave this open because I want to put the water jug there how friggin lucky am I this piece I picked up from the side of the road fits with millimeters to spare it's this much to spare so I haven't recorded too much in the past hour or two but we've got a full back on it now that extends all the way up to right here so pretty much ready to start filling this up with stuff and I've also added this side panel as well as this shelf right here that allows for my toilet to be underneath as well as my little filing cabinet thingy and that fits perfectly I've got this angled piece holding it up solid this piece is held on by one L bracket over here I just wanted to mention real quick that I'll be cutting a slot in this piece kind of like the line that you see on the screen so that I can access the storage underneath the sink countertop without having to open the door and go outside of the vehicle. Here a little small L bracket and then spaced by this piece that I would glue to it. And then I also added a screw going into the dash just to keep it over just enough. So yeah, everything's coming along really well guys. Um, I'm, I'm super excited about this. I'm actually going to be picking up the baby later on tonight. So I'll be happy to have this at a much better place. So that I don't have to worry about her hurting herself on it or anything like that. There we go. I think I'm going to add um, a small flat piece right in front of here. Just to keep it from going too far out. But that's, that's a small thing. I just want to make sure that it stays lined up where it's supposed to. We have our carbon monoxide detector here. Not exactly sure still where I'm going to put that, but as you can see, this is holding up stuff just fine. I mean, I'm, I'm doing everything that I need to to make sure that this is solid and sturdy, and it's all one piece. And no problem with that. So right here is more than likely where the water jug is going to be. Um, this might end up getting trimmed off, maybe at an angle or something like that. We'll have to see about that here in the future once I get the water jug. So, I still have all this left to utilize, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to build with it yet. So I'll have to figure that out here. down here so it'll be a little bit lower but I'm fine with that because that's also where the sink is gonna be so I want to be very precise when I'm cutting this one out because I'm gonna be cutting it for the sink to fit but also for the piece that I cut out to sit back in place so I don't lose countertop space when I'm not using the sink I mean it just makes sense but I broke the I broke the jigsaw blade. I tripped over it and the blade went 
so I have to go get some more blades and um, so I'm just kind of packing up now it's like rush hour and it's also the solar eclipse which I'm not afraid to look at I don't know about you but I'm looking right at that thing particularly with the right eye the eye of Ra if you know you know if not let me know we can definitely have a talk about these types of things I'm eventually gonna make my way to Home Depot I need to swap out my oil for some full synthetic anyway this motor in these vans has an issue with sludging so the oil gets too thick and it gets more like jelly and so to combat that and to keep the engine clean on the inside, most people use full synthetic oil. And I don't think that full synthetic oil is what's in there now. So I need to get that swapped out and then I'm going to get those saw blades as well. I need to pick up some money that's owed to me. I've already shipped out my package for the day. But um, other than that, yeah, I'm just going to be filling up my new food storage space with whatever food that I have that I can. To get it out of the basket which will give me more room under the bed I'll probably throw the basket underneath the kitchen cabinet <laughs> I don't I still don't know what to call it let me know in the comments what you think I should call this thing that I've created here where the passenger seat used to be what maybe I'll make a poll on, on the community page to see what the best name idea is but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to get that filled up here and just reorganize myself a bit before I pick up my wonderful daughter. I miss her so much. I can't wait for her to see what I've created. I already know she's going to be under there, just sitting there. She likes minimal spaces like that. So, talk to you guys once I have it a little more organized in here. And there it is, everyone. Not filled up, but <laughs> it's got some stuff in there. But to me, that's beautiful because it's exactly what it's meant for. Aside from the incense box. Food, food, and more food. I think the baby will like having easier access to snacks, that's for sure. And even that tall can fits. So yeah. Next drive will be the test to see if stuff decides it wants to fall or not, which I highly doubt. Here we are, next morning. A crazy head seems to be enjoying enjoying the kitchen countertop a whole lot. So now with having all this stuff under here, we have a lot more space under the bed. Like a lot. I pull this out, the trash can falls, but it's it's almost empty. Is how it feels. It actually feels like it's empty under there. Baby slept wonderful in here. I mean, we've got space behind the seat now. It's just, it's crazy to think that just that one bin full of stuff was taking up all that extra space under there. But, um, yeah, we drove about 60 miles yesterday. It didn't move at all. None of the stuff inside moved. I haven't had to touch it, except I took some one of those kind bars. I haven't had to touch any of it. It's all been working out really great. I don't know if I showed you, but I also put this cup holder right here. Right here on the side. One of the ones from the seats, from the other seats. So I have some more of those to put up as well. And then I put this cup holder right here into the speaker grill. So that's another double. It's kind of pushed up because the seat is pushed forward right now. But <laughs> everything is working great. We both slept wonderfully. Well, she definitely slept wonderfully. She slept in the bed with me most of the night, so. But there's there's definitely enough room for both of us to be comfortable. And that's that's the best part about this bed. It's got enough room for me and her. Maybe not in a few years, but we might be in something bigger here in a few years. I don't plan for this to last forever, but it's definitely working out right now. So we're gonna get cleaned up here and go and get us some breakfast. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for this one. So be sure to hit subscribe and to stay tuned for the next video in the build series. Much love to all of you. Thank you to everybody for watching. It's Van Life Cam. Peace out.